NBC, NBC News says they've seen enough and they are ready to call the Colorado governor's race for incumbent Democrat Jared Polis. This is this is not a surprise uh, and you have to wonder how much of this is based on prior polling as opposed to the paltry votes that are in so far. But again, as, as David Flaherty, our pollster, was, was talking about, uh, you know, Ganahl was pointing to an outlier poll that showed her down seven, and the polling average had her down solidly double digits, if not into mid-double digits. But NBC News is projecting, this is NBC News national projection, that Jared Polis is reelected governor of Colorado, which would continue the Republican drought in that office where there has been a single Republican, Bill Owens, elected in Colorado in the last 50 years. I'm flipping through the metro area. Arapahoe County, significant, two to one, Jared Polis. Douglas County, 50-50. Jefferson County, not quite two to one, but close to that. Denver, it's gonna be blowout, uh, we know, for Democrats there. Even Broomfield County, two to one. Uh, Boulder, of course, Jared Polis would win there in his home area, but Weld finally populated to what David was saying we wanted to look at. David, uh, a seven, a 10,000 vote advantage for Heidi Ganahl. That's in Weld. We still don't have El Paso. I mean, the, and Adams isn't reporting yet. Do you see any math that NBC is just missing right now? I do not. Um, I, I believe that uh, the data that they have and looking at turnout data through today on Election Day where they are, um, that, you know, this is a relatively safe forecast uh, from NBC News uh, based on the available data that's out there from both election return data as well as uh, depending on how much. And again, a lot of the last, uh, I would just say this, some of the final polls that came into the Colorado average on this governor's race came from Republican affiliated uh, polling outfits, just to keep that in mind. And I'm not saying by any means they're cooking the books to make it look better for, for uh, you know, the Republican candidate. Uh, many of those polls were, were quality, if you will. Um, bottom line is, is that, as you mentioned, Kyle, there was uh, one final survey in there that perhaps is looking very much like an outlier at this time.